Roots gas station is set to come to the Forest Hill area of Richmond, but tonight it's getting some mixed feedback from residents that live in that area. There's a group that's trying to rally to stop the plans or at least get them changed. Richmond reporter Henry Graff spoke to those fired up over this debate. One group of neighbors in this area rallying and hoping for some concessions from the developer before work gets underway here. The Stratford Hill Shopping Center on Forest Hill Avenue will soon also be home to a Sheets gas station. It will be located at the corner of Hathaway Road, where a large vacant building currently sits. Well, I think it'd just look a whole lot better than what we have here right now. Uh, it'd be good for the businesses over here, get some more traffic, and uh, just another place to eat. The developer says the other shops and restaurants within the complex will remain. Those against the plan say they are worried about increased traffic and light pollution, even questioning the need for another fuel station. I'm a walker. It's a very walkable neighborhood. I often walk up to the food line, so it's going to make it a lot more difficult for those of us that are walking up to the shopping center. City Hall says the Sheets proposal is a buy right development, meaning the area is already zoned for that type of business. So there's no approvals needed from the Planning Commission or City Council, just permits. I think sometimes there's confusion in the community about what businesses can come in um, per the zoning. Councilor Kristen Nye, who represents the area, adds recent road improvements along Forest Hill Avenue should help with traffic concerns. This is a situation of the zoning allows for the sheets. So once that, um, that whole process is in the pipeline, Council doesn't have the authority to go back and rezone it when permits are being applied for. Demolition work here on the project should begin soon with construction taking about six months. On your side in Richmond, I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. Well, straight ahead tonight.